The entire Bible from beginning to end is a story of the one solution for the human dilemma. It's Jesus. It's not only important to know why you need the Bible, but if you're going to get the best out of the Word of God, it's vital to know what the Bible is actually about. There's massive confusion about what the Bible is about. And some people think it's just doctrine. Other people think it's not a story, it's a collection of stories. Some people think it's just, you know, practical wisdom for everyday life. There's this dramatic moment in the life of Christ. It's the most dramatic moment between his birth and the cross that really does explode open our understanding of what the Bible is about. It's what's called the transfiguration. Let me, let me read for you from Matthew 17. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. And he was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, and saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. This, this moment dramatically pictures who Jesus is, but in picturing who Jesus is, it pictures for us what the Bible is about. Why Elijah and why Moses are transfigured there with Christ? Why are they part of this vision? Because God is declaring that Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. He will be the ultimate law keeper. Everything the law is about is fulfilled in Jesus. Jesus is the promised one that the prophets write about. Everything that the prophets hope in, everything that the prophets want are carried on the shoulders of Jesus. Jesus is what the Bible is about. All the law and all the prophets are about him. Because what the world needs is more than theology, more than wisdom principles, more than interesting moral stories. What the world needs is a redeemer. Because I need to be rescued from me. I need one to come who will do what I'm unable to do, who will carry my penalty, the one that I should carry, who will conquer sin and death and resurrection power. The entire Bible from beginning to end is the story of the one solution for the human dilemma. It's Jesus. It's Jesus who the prophets longed for. It's Jesus that the law pointed to. It's Jesus that the Bible is about. And as you study the Word of God, you're meant to find more than theological wisdom and practical help for daily living. You're meant to find Jesus. You're meant to fall in love with Jesus. You're meant to find rest in Jesus. You're meant to find hope in Jesus. You're meant to surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus is what you need. And that's why the Bible is a massive introduction to the story of Jesus. Because in him, there is hope. The hope that everyone needs, whether they realize it or not, is found in the person and the work the power, the presence, the grace of Jesus. Elijah longed for Jesus. 
Moses longed for Jesus, and that Jesus is introduced to us and explained to us and given to us in God's Word. The Bible is the story of Jesus. Thank you.